This farm consists of 105 hectares of citrus that are currently bearing, majority navels. Market's the biggest challenge. Pest and disease is another one. Fuller's rose weevil's been a big one over the last few years with the China market. And if they find the egg masses under the calyx in China, they are going to boot us out of the market, I suppose. The orchard hygiene is of number one, as you can see here. The trees are all skirted up. In the past, we'd been doing uh, trunk sprays. Probably was a good thing to start with because it got us in the China market, but in the end, it was an expensive exercise with the amount of time it took to get across the whole orchard. So now XRL's come on the market. We're actually targeting what we need to kill instead of just trying to blanket everything. You kill everything, you kill all your beneficials. We only done the one spray this year. We've done it around the February mark when there's a, a hatch, when they're all coming out. Possibly next year we'll look at doing two. We one earlier on around Calex closure. It's in selected patches that may have some thrips. And then probably another one in February in uh, any high pressure patches. So it's good, good product. Yeah. Saves a lot of time and effort. You know, it's a one pass thing twice a year. You know, it might take us 40 hours to spray the property where before it was taken anywhere up to you know, 180 hours doing trunk sprays over the season. It's probably a safer option too. Anything safer is obviously the way we want to go. It's a positive for the fact that our staff isn't amongst harsh chemicals all the time. It's a positive for the environment. The fruit's clean and green and that's what everyone wants. So, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing.